Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons with wonderful cheese straws. Beautiful things. So there you can see the ingredients there, but the full recipe will be in the description. But it's, you know, it's not really a recipe, this is a technique video. And you see that horrible looking bit of puff pastry, that had been in the freezer and defrosted and you know it was not up to the job. So if you ever have a piece of puff pastry like this, this is a nice little simple technique. Re-roll it and re-laminate it, and it sort of brings it all back together nice and tidy. So roll it out like so, fold it over. This is what you call a business letter fold, but you, know, you can see what we're doing there. And we'll just change the direction, and we'll do that one more time. So obviously you don't have a knackered bit of old puff pastry, you've got a nice bit of puff pastry. So here we go, we're at the same place now. We're going to roll this out nice and thin, and try to get to a square-ish shape, because it's going to make the forming of these cheese straws a lot easier. Don't worry about the size you're going to, just more the thickness nice and thin and even that is some beaten egg which I'm brushing on there that is not essential but it, you need something for these ingredients to stick to to adhere to so if you don't want to use a bit of egg you could use some olive oil would be fine I'm adding flavors that I fancy so there was some black pepper there's some chili powder those are some seeds and um, seeds are so healthy that it completely cancels out all the cheese and puff pastry that you're eating it's not not maybe as healthy <laughs> That's what I like to tell myself. So there's some nice mature cheddar cheese going on. And yeah, just get that nicely evenly covered there. We'll try to get it to the corners, I suppose, as well. And this is some Parmesan or Parmigiano Reggiano. Extra kick of flavour, but I haven't put it all on. I'm keeping a little bit back because it's going to go on top of them after I've formed these twisty straw things. So that, yeah, that's what we're not using. It might all fall off if you try to fold this over before doing something like this. So a bit of parchment paper, give that a really, really firm press, really push it into the egg that's on there, so that's going to hold it all in place. And one half turn here, like so. And we're going to re-roll that now, nice and thin, but it's a bit soft. So in the fridge, 10 to 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes later, here it is again. And uh, you know you have to use flour when you're rolling this stuff, but you know try not to use an excess. And, you, and if you do have a bit too much on it, you can always brush it off. But there we go. So now we're just going to roll this out again. Try to get a nice square shape. So again, don't worry about how big this is. Worry about how thin it is. Try to get it as thin as you can. And actually, the seeds sort of uh, dictate that. But they they can see you know, just a couple of mils really. And the shapes and things you do is entirely up to you, but I want to go with this sort of length. So I went in half, so I could have, I guess, what would those be like, eight to ten inch long strips, and a little bit less than an inch in thickness. You know, one and a half centimeters if we're going to do metric. And you can see the technique there: hold it still with one hand whilst twisting with the other, and you're going to form these twists. Don't worry if they're not all perfect. You don't want them to be perfect looking. You you don't want them looking like they come out of a machine. You want your friends who you serve these to when you're watching the game with a cold beer or something like that. You want them to know that you made them. And that's what I kept the bit of extra parmesan for, to sprinkle on them before they go in the oven. Total cooking time was about 15 minutes. You saw the temperature, 190, 374. Uh, that was about halfway through. They're sort of a bit stuck together, so I'm separating them. But I'm being a bit of a pansy because... Ooh, my little delicate fingers were hurting because uh, I haven't been a professional chef for a long time and I've lost that asbestos fingers things, you know, little metal hands as chefs call it. But there you go, 15 minutes all done. And you need to get those onto the, the rack to cool down. So get them off the tray when they're completely cool. Put them in like glass like that. Put some cold beer in another glass. And bosh, you've got a really nice snack that was dead easy to do. So thank you so much for watching Uncle Matt's Cooker Lessons. I hope you like this one. I'll see you again pretty soon. Bye. Oh yeah, don't forget to rumble. What? <laughs>